Hey, welcome back. I'm Brian Stelter. This is Reliable Sources. Last week, days before the opening of the Democratic Convention, WikiLeaks published a trove of hacked, stolen DNC emails and voice messages, indicating efforts by party officials to hinder Bernie Sanders' campaign and assist Hillary Clinton's campaign. This bombshell led the DNC chairwoman to step down, but that was just the beginning of this story. U.S. government sources and private security firms strongly suspect that Russian intelligence agents were behind the data breach. WikiLeaks is promising to publish more DNC or Clinton-related documents in the months to come. So let's ask WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange about that. Uh, he's joining me live remotely from London from the Ecuadorian embassy where he's been under house arrest for years. Mr. Assange, let me show you what Hillary Clinton said just a couple of hours ago on Fox News talking about this data dump. Here's what she said. We know that Russian intelligence services, which are part of the Russian government, which is under the firm control of Vladimir Putin, hacked into the DNC. And we know that they arranged for a lot of those emails to be released. Uh, and we know that uh, Donald Trump has shown a very troubling uh, willingness to back up Putin. So are you suggesting that Putin would rather see him as president than you? Well, I'm not going to jump to that conclusion, but I think laying out the facts uh, raises serious issues about Russian interference in our elections. Mr. Assange, is Hillary Clinton wrong to link this to Russia? Uh, well, she's made several untrue statements. Uh, now, what were it's they? Not, surpri not surprise. I'll get to them. It's not surprising, unfortunately, that Hillary Clinton makes untrue statements. Uh, just uh, a few days ago, she made a statement. James Coney uh, did not say that she was sloppy in the handling of her, her emails when there's footage everywhere of James Coney telling the head of the FBI, telling uh, Congress precisely that. But unfortunately, you can't trust what Hillary Clinton says. Uh, I'll get to the, the words that she's used. Now, for WikiLeaks, we're in a very difficult position. We have a perfect 10-year record of always presenting accurate information to the public. That's the best in any media whatsoever. Um, and we're, we also have a perfect record in never exposing our sources. Uh, occasionally, right. someone, an alleged source has stepped forward themselves, but we have never exposed them. So we, we're you in a yourself, difficult position. I understand you call yourself a source protection organization. You're not willing to disclose your sources, which is understandable. And yet, how can WikiLeaks claim to promote transparency in politics without being open about the backstage interests that influence and possibly steer your operation? Isn't it hypocritical to do that? Well, we're a media organization, and media organizations have an obligation to protect their sources. I mean, that's, that's, 10, that's 101. Uh, well, let's say, let's, let me take you through a hypothetical. Let's say hypothetically Russia gives you access to a trove of hacked, stolen emails. Would that hypothetically give you any pause? Ethically, would it be an issue for you? No, let's not talk about hypotheticals. Let's talk about, about the real case. Hillary Clinton on Fox uh, is trying to undermine our publication, trying to draw attention away from the fact that she conspired with the uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, her former campaign manager, was head of the Democratic Party, to subvert an election in the United States. Uh, now, the re what is the result of that? The result is the free market of electoral candidates was ruined. Instead, you had a regulatory organization, the DNC, abusing its regu regulatory function to favor one candidate above another, including by pumping out uh, black yeah, media right. campaigns. Black media campaigns trying to undermine Bernie Sanders in complicity uh, with a lot of the media. Uh, in, and in and the that US. has been covered. That has been covered. But result. what about your what role? The, what is the end result? The end result may well be that the less competitive candidate in an open market competition, which is what is coming up in the proper election, has managed to secure the nomination. And the result of that uh, could well be the election of Donald Trump. So that, news, that news has been published. Price. That news has been reported on CNN. Price. But why did you publish voicemails from children? Why today. did you publish Social Security numbers from innocent people? Why publish that kind of material? Doesn't it hurt your cause? WikiLeaks uh, has contributed to hundreds, literally hundreds of court cases, uh, prosecutions, uh, liberating innocent people from prison. 
Uh, now, I, we're not going to be tampering. Julian, I'm with you. Uh, with I was inspired by WikiLeaks. I remember interviewing you six years ago. I was so covered. inspired by WikiLeaks. But let me put up Edward Snowden's tweet on screen. This is, I think, the key. As Snowden said, democratizing information has never been more vital, and WikiLeaks has helped. But their hostility to even modest curation is a mistake. Why publish social security numbers? Why publish voicemails from children? Well, as I just explained, we publish pristine archives that can be used in court cases and are used in court cases. One, for example, was used in the UCOS case, which produced a $56 billion dollar finding against Russia in, re exam uh, in relation to expropriation uh, of oil assets that um, had previously belonged to a, to a Russian oligarch. So we're talking about at the highest level uh, in terms of civil cases and at the highest level, for example, in CIA rendition programs. So it's extremely important to not tamper with the evidence, to have a pristine archive, and that's what we do. Now, if you, if you want to talk about uh, the reporting of personal details, it's false. There, there are not full credit card numbers in what we publish. What there is is what you see on 7-Eleven uh, receipts, the last four digits uh, of credit card numbers.